Good afternoon, Ebenezer family and friends. Thank you for joining us today. Parents, I have some information for you. Today we will be posting a devotional from our own Miss Sarah. Be watching for that later on today. And we hope later on uh, in the coming days to be posting other devotionals from our children's ministry teachers for kids. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Today is our devotional. I want to share with you some verses from Psalm chapter 16. Listen to these verses. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. I will bless the Lord who guides me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. This week, as I was reading those passages, the thought that came to my mind is the idea that praise is a powerful weapon. There is power in praise. No matter what we're facing, there is power in speaking out the truth about God and his goodness. So this week I have been working on my sermon for Sunday, a little spoiler alert, I'm, I'll be preaching this Sunday. And that idea of power and praise and praise as a weapon, it relates to part of my sermon on Sunday. So as I was working on that this week, I was reminded of a relatively new contemporary praise song. It was released about a year ago, a year ago called Raise a Hallelujah, or, or maybe you, you know it as a Sing a Little Louder. You've probably heard Todd and Kelly sing it in our nine o'clock service. So as I was thinking about that, I thought about how uh, that relates to this idea of power and praise. And so I went on YouTube and I was looking for that video. I wanted to watch it. I wanted to sing along. And what I found, instead of just finding someone performing the song, I actually found a video of the people who wrote the song singing the song. The, the people who wrote the songs, their, their names are Jonathan and Melissa Helser. And in this video, Jonathan is telling the story of how this song came about. And I don't know about you, but I always love to hear interesting stories about why a song was written or what's the story behind the song. So Jonathan in this video was sharing uh, why the song was written. And he was telling the story about that in his church, Bethel Church in Redding, California, there was a family who had a child who was critically ill, very, very ill. In fact, he had to be airlifted uh, to a hospital in another city and he was in ICU and it was a really scary situation. So people all throughout the church were praying crying out to God, lifting up uh, this child and interceding for this child. So this went on for a couple of weeks and things were up and down. And then finally, there came the evening uh, when Jonathan said he got a text from the little boy's dad saying, we don't think he's going to make it through tonight. It, it looks, it's really bad. We're not sure he's going to make it. And so Jonathan said, you know, when he got that news, he was just devastated and crying out to God and, and, and just so fearful and, and so afraid and so worried about this little boy and, and what was going to happen if he was going to make it or not. And so he said as he was crying out to God, the mental picture he got was that of his fear and, and the doubt he was feeling in his heart as being like a huge giant standing right in front of him, a big, scary giant. And he said, as he was seeing this picture in his mind of, of fear being a giant in front of him, he felt like the Lord put it on his heart that praise was the weapon that he needed to use against that giant. And, and so as he was praying and, and crying out to God, the words came to his mouth and his heart, raise a hallelujah. So that's what he began to sing, sing out, raise a hallelujah, raise a hallelujah. And so as he was thinking and praying, more and more words came and a melody came. And eventually it worked its way. I'm sure it took some time, but it worked its way into this song. And, and I wanted to share these words with you in case you're not familiar with the song. After this video, I will go in and post the link so that you can go in yourself, watch the video, hear him share this testimony 
But here are some of the words. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah louder than my unbelief. I raise a hallelujah, hallelujah, my weapon is a melody. I raise a hallelujah, heaven comes to fight for me. And then later on the song, it says, I'm going to sing in the middle of the storm, louder and louder, you're going to hear my praises roar. Up from the ashes, hope will arise. Death is defeated, the king is alive. So I encourage you, after I post the lead, to go in and watch it. It's a really powerful song. And, and that last line about death being defeated and the king being alive, that sounds like an Easter song, doesn't it? It sounds very appropriate for Easter. But um, what I want to ask you today, as we're thinking about this praise being a weapon, I want to ask you, what are the giants that you're facing today? What is the thing that you are struggling with? Is it fear? Is it anxiety? Is it worry? Is it doubt? What, what is your giant? And whatever it is, whatever that giant is that you're facing, I want to remind you that praise is a powerful weapon. And I want to encourage you today to speak out the truth that you know to be true about God. And I want to encourage you to raise your hallelujah, to sing, to speak words of praise to God, and to fight whatever giant you're facing, to fight that with the weapon of praise. Let's pray. Oh, gracious God, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to praise you at all times, but particularly in those times when we feel afraid or worried or doubtful or whatever those emotions are that we face. Lord, teach us to use the power of praise. Teach us to use this weapon at all times, but particularly against those giants in our lives. Through Jesus, we pray. Amen. Goodbye, guys. See you later. Have a great day.